Good morning! It's a rainy overcast Friday morning and we have a reenactment for you guys. It's never going to be as good as the original thing, but it's happened when we were driving to school this morning and I don't really vlog and drive. So anyways, it was funny and I thought I would tell you guys. So this morning on the way to school, Elizabeth is already at school by the way, this morning on the way to school, we somehow got on the subject of like temperatures and it being really hot and that 100 was really hot and from there it went to sweating and like that saunas were a thing that adults did. So I explained to the girls what saunas were and they had never heard of them before and it was like yeah it's like a little box that adults go into kids can't go into it because it's not safe but you go in the sauna and you just go sweat it's supposed to get like all the icky stuff out the kids are all like whoa and I was like yeah mommy and daddy went to do that when we were on the cruise ship were you guys at the ocean air club and Isabella was like oh. and she just the look on her face was hilarious. And I was like, yeah, you didn't know we went and did stuff. Mommy and Daddy went to a spa while you were at the Ocean Air Club, and we went and did stuff. You just thought we were sitting in the hotel room staring at each other, didn't you? It was so funny, their reactions. So they found out that Mommy and Daddy went to the spa, and from there it went into just, I don't know, we were messing around about, like, what were you doing in the whole time of the Ocean Air Club? You were getting a hold of us to let us know that you're hungry, Natalie. And Isabella, every time we go into the Ocean Air Club to see you, you'd be like, no, I'm busy, go away. Mommy and Daddy go see a show. Isabella, we go see what she's doing. Do you want to eat dinner with us? No, I'm busy, go away. So we had a great reenactment this morning, reliving our cruise. The kids had a lot of fun. It was funny, and I'm sure you had to be there. Um, so, but I just was like, I have to share this. The kids, like, just shock and awe that mommy and daddy went to a sauna, and they went to a spa while they were at the Ocean Air Club. They apparently just assumed we went back to the room and stared at each other, and we didn't. We went and had fun. So, anyways, Natalie's working on her juice back there. What's up, Miss Juice Box? She does like juice. So what's on the agenda for today? So I would like to try to go to Costco to get this like zip up hoodie thing that is like sporty and will work great for Zumba and going to the gym. But I don't know if I'm gonna get down there because the one that's closest to us was out of the size. that They had one size, they're all not my size. We'll put it that way. Um, but then let's see, what else, what else? I need to get a haircut. That's on the possible agenda today. Natalie has school today. That's exciting. Yeah, and I want to get. Well, I don't know if we're going to have time for that. So Isabella's off at school. Natalie has school this afternoon. I need to get some work done. And uh, other than that, we may try to go find some fun stuff to do. So happy Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> I always see that on Instagram, but I never know how to say it. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. It doesn't sound right. It looks right when you see it on Instagram, but to say it is a little bit weird. So, oh, I should show you my Disney buttons. I just they had crossed my mind like trying to make fetch happen. If you guys have seen uh, Mean Girls making fetch happen. So, um, I got a bunch of buttons from C Casey and the Bear. She has a business called Parkbound. I'll show you all the buttons when we're inside the house later on today. Um, and she just sent me like a random assortment. She had like lots of buttons on. They had like slight imperfections. I got it off of Etsy. And so they were really super cheap. So I thought, well, we'll just get a lot. And you just, it was a mystery surprise. Like whatever you got sent, you got sent. But she sent me a ton of ones that like I really, really like. Like they're perfect. Like there was a birthday one in there. Like it's my birthday. So we can use that for someone's birthday coming up. Because it's going to be her Fab Five birthday. And um, there was like a Mistress of Evil, it was a Maleficent one, there was a Sleeping Beauty, which that's one of my favorite Disney movies, so that was cool. There was a couple, oh, I'm celebrating Dole Whips, I was totally like planning on buying that one anyway, so I was like, check. <laughs> so she sent me a really good lot, so I'll try to share those with you guys as parkbound buttons. And if you're into Disney, if you're into all the Disney Anna stuff, you probably have come across her shop anyways, because she's got a pretty big park button shop. Actually, I'll just go ahead and give her a shout out. She just started a YouTube channel too, so we'll see if I can remember to put the information down below, but she just literally started a Disney YouTube channel like a day ago, so go check her out. She's a younger gal, but um, she loves, loves Disney stuff. So, let's go find some stuff to do. I don't know what we're going to do today. I have a whole list of things I can be doing. I have a whole list of things I should be doing, but I don't know what we're actually going to end up doing it's one of those days well here we'll just show you guys now because you know that I will probably forget 
if I don't do it now. So we'll just go ahead and do it now. We'd run and get Natalie a quick snack. Let me see, can you see them? Yeah, you can almost see them better with the light off. So these are the buttons, they're by, by Parkbound, Casey and the Bear, and I think that's her name on YouTube as well, Casey and the Bear. And we're not going for Halloween this year, but we got it's really not so scary and trick or treat buttons, super cute. It's my birthday, and since Natalie's turning five, I thought it'd be cute for her to have a fab five birthday, and her birthday is Mickey and Minnie Mouse's birthday. So this is perfect. There's Racy to the Castle and Orlando Strong with a castle on both of those. Whatever I'm getting, cheese fries. I'm celebrating Dole Whips. I wanted to get this for our next upcoming trip anyway, so that's perfect. We were only trying to drown her. <laughs> Make a wish and do as dreamers do. I like like that one. I woke up like this, Mistress of All Evil, and then making fetch happen. <laughs> Which that one's only funny if you know like the backstory. But it's cute because it's got lady on it. So those are the my buttons from Parkbound. It's it was just like a mystery lot where she sent you these. I think they're just supposed to be like slightly imperfection. But honestly, when I wear the buttons, I never wear them like straight up and down anyways. I think it's just if like they're not perfect centered or whatever. But anyhow, I can't tell any difference. So Check her out if you're into these like button things. It was a pretty good deal, but I'm assuming by now that all these mystery lots are probably gone. But you might check her Etsy just in case, so it's parked down. All right, we're gonna go do errands and stuff and get Natalie another snack. I guess we did have to do one unusual thing today. So we just got this from UPS yesterday and had to go drop it off at the contractor's office. Um, so it's, I guess, the middle part, the middle portion of her payment. So, you know, just hanging around with a $30,000 check that's made out to the contractor's company, but they mail it to us for some reason. So it's just like an intermediary step. So to go drop that off, which I'm sure they were happy to see. So anyways, we are up by Great Lakes Crossings and Natalie wants to go toy shopping. <laughs> but we're just gonna run in here real quick and then we're gonna go home so she has some time to play and eat lunch before she goes to school. And hopefully I can get some stuff done around there. I need to finish doing laundry, which I was working on yesterday. And I'm about three fourths of the way done. And she knows where she's going. There's the Great Lakes, there's the food court area. Over here to the left, this is the Legoland that we went to. They got a pretty big area in here. In District 6. Oh, I guess some stuff's not even open yet. I thought that they opened at 10. Apparently we're here too early. There's Bath and Body Works. What? Yeah. Well, I think it's a Dairy Queen that's not open. It's open. We never usually hear this early. It's so not busy. Oh, the costumes are 25% off. We gotta get those sometime this month, but not today. Oh, she just... went crazy. What are you doing? <laughs> Losing a shoe. She's so excited. All right, we're gonna go shop. I like it. We're looking in the Lego store now. We just got some boring clothes at the Disney store. But we did find our costumes, I think. I think Mommy wants to get them as a surprise because otherwise they're gonna win aware of them the whole time and I don't want them to get messed up for Halloween. So I think I'm gonna go back and get them and I don't have to with me. Finding some birthday wish list stuff here. Not in the Lego store, only in the Disney store. Only in the Disney store, always, always. They got lots of Disney Legos, so that's cool. She's hungry all of a sudden. She got hungry all of a sudden. This is the story of Natalie's life. So she's got her little dress rehearsal. I remember we did that last year. It's a cute little dress rehearsal thing at the Disney store. I think we'll probably try to do it this year. Which means I need to have their Halloween costumes early. Yeah, we'll probably go to the other we'll one. Go head home so she can play for a little bit before school and it'll be time for her to go to school. home and I gotta get some boring housewife stuff done. I gotta get the counters cleaned off from having breakfast and do the dishes, finish the laundry, yada, 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 yada. All right, at the run downstairs to go switch out the laundry and ta-da! We have our family room back because they have the playroom back. So this is no longer a toy sanctuary other than the dog sitting over there on the table and apparently a baby diaper. But other than those two things, a baby doll diaper. <laughs> so other than those two things that have apparently made their, look at this, this is mom life, folks. There is just a random baby doll diaper. At least it's not a real one, right? <laughs> sitting on our table. Just like open the door and throw it down to the bottom. Hi, Yoda. We keep him shut up while we're gone. So you don't make messes. What's up, buddy? You squeak? 
Oh. And this is how I will get things done for like the next 15 minutes because Yoda is a huge baby and he likes sitting on your shoulder. So it's kind of funny because he really did like adopt me and the kids after Luna passed. So it's like having another cat that likes to sit on your shoulder. He's a giant baby. He's purring really loudly right now. Do you want too. mommy to make you the chips and cheese? It's like the Rotel stuff. Like I put the yeah. spicy stuff in there. There's corn in there. Um, well, it's like the same stuff that's on mac and cheese that you like. All right, putting the Rotel in, stir up, and we gotta melt it all together. This is a Natalie favorite. Just a little bit more melting and her Natalie cheese will be done. <laughs> is it delicious? <laughs> Okay. Delicious. Wait. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, we're gonna have Italian beef in the crock pot. So I'm getting that ready, and I just need to get my seasonings out of the spice thing. I've got open thing in here, and there's some Italian seasoning and some all-purpose seasoning. So I'm gonna get this going so it can be going while we're at. She's at school and I'm and as running. as always, this Louis Italian beef stuff, I just use like a third to a half of a packet. I don't use the whole thing, so that's why I have like my, my packet thing that I keep my open packets in. But I just put a bit of this over the Italian beef with the Italian dressing and I'm gonna get my pepperoncinis out and that is how I do my Italian beef in the slow All right, cooker. easy peasy, that is dinner for tonight. All right, so I just got a quick haircut and I am going to run to Target to get some more drink stuff and I have a whole list of stuff and then it'll probably be time to go pick up Natalie so I'm gonna run over there real quick. All right, I am over at Target. It is rainy, rainy, rainy here. Just, it's been rainy all week long. I'm gonna go in and get my stuff real quick. And I don't know if you can see it, there's coals over there. It's very rainy though. I have coals cash eating to use but we'll see what I end up doing. All right, it's rainy. I got a bit of stuff at Target that I'll show you whenever I get home. But it is rainy dirty day i'm ready for this weather to be over so it's been all week long here um and my hair just whenever it gets wet like this it just starts curling up and waving up it doesn't matter if i flat iron it a million times this is what it does whenever it gets wet so i'm gonna go head back to the house and take the stuff there i'll try to do a quick target haul and then every time to go pick up natalie it's cool. oh bad things very bad things that's not good well, I have a Target haul, and apparently my cleaner with bleach that I use in the showers is leaking because everything smells like bleach, and it literally bleached the bag that it's in. And it's also in a bag with construction paper, so negative points to the cashier on that one. I'm gonna see if I can clean this up real All quick. All right, so here is everything that's left over. So we got the cleaner with bleach. Luckily, the construction paper looked like it was okay. I got this Crayola pack because it had purple and a couple other colors. And we've got some videos coming up where I'm gonna be showing you some things with this, so that'll be coming up, some kids' craft stuff. I got two Dan Sani sparkling waters. So I was originally gonna get the LaCroix stuff, which was on my list, and you, I've been talking about this in the grocery hauls, but if you don't watch the grocery hauls, I get the LaCroix stuff, and I was just getting tired of the flavors I was getting over and over. I like the blackberry cucumber. I'm just kind of getting tired of it. So I was gonna just get the same thing because none of the other LaCroix flavors <laughs> looked good. And there was these two girls standing there talking about these and putting them in their cart. And they were like, these two flavors are really good. So I was like, okay, well I'll try it. Well, there was like a blind over by the sparkling water of people trying to get stuff into their carts. So the net effect was, I got lime and plucked cherry. I'm going to try those. I got this Physician's Formula cover stick. And it's got this to see how it works. Generally, this Physician's Formula stuff is pretty good. So I just want to see if it's comparable to the tart stuff that I use. I got some of the Simply Balanced fruit strips. The girls like those. Some toilet paper. I got some of this Tresemme heat spray. Some hand soap. And then a couple of things out of the dollar section. They had these really cute bracelets. So over on In Toy Reviews, um, I've been doing some tin, toy tin videos. So I thought these would be cute to put inside the toy tins. And then these are also going to be little surprises for my girls. As long as they don't come up behind me right now. And then I also found these cute little rewards bracelets. These were only like a dollar too. And I thought that these would be good like little extra rewards for Isabella for the school year. So that is that. So that's my Target haul. is about 40 something dollars worth of stuff. Plus the cleaner with bleach, which got all over the 
back of the car, I think, too. And the beef, Italian beef, is looking pretty good. So that's gonna be done whenever my husband gets home. So I finally had a chance to flat iron my hair, and I really, really like it. I really like the back of it, too. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I like the back of it. So, um, you know, because before I just left it unstyled because it was rainy outside. So anyhow, at least Natalie noticed when I picked her up, she said, Mama, did you get your hair cut? I said, yes, I did. Thank you for noticing. Natalie has paint over her eyebrow from school today. I hope it's washable. Are you guys ready to get all your toys back in the playroom? Yeah. What about you? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just investigating to see if there's a moth or a butterfly camouflaging in there. Is there one in there? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. All right, so dinner is done, and I'm gonna get the Italian beef on the plate. It smells pretty good in here. All right, so this is the Italian beef for dinner.